Hey, Kevin Crawl back with you. Today's project is this white ash natural edge bulb. So, you know the routine. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the turning. Thanks for watching. As you can see, this blank is running uh, a little bit out of balance, not too bad. When I started this turning, I had a general idea of the shape I was going after. I started by hogging off the bulk of the wood, and then I made a mounting tenon and continued with push cuts until there were no more flat spots. I envisioned a bowl with a wide rim, a narrow base, and straight sides. Here, I used the back of a bowl gouge as a straight edge to check my progress. Now we got it reverse mounted. We're going to just uh, true it up with some pulling cuts. Now we'll move on to some shear scraping, clean up the outside. That's what you're looking for. This real light uh, angel hair shavings. Just to show you, you can power sand a natural edge bowl. Uh, a lot of people say you can't. Uh, I'll show you you can. Now many may argue that my mounting tenon is way too small for the height and diameter of my bowl. And you know what? They're probably right. Now I knew this when I envisioned the shape of the bowl. So as I turn to the inside, I have to do light and gentle cuts. Now we'll move on to hollowing out the inside. When turning natural edge bowls, wood turners often talk about cutting air. Here, slow down to 1 8th actual speed, you can see what that phrase really means. Notice how short of a time my bowl gouge is actually in contact with wood.
down to the last final cuts. Uh, getting real challenging trying to find a position for the tool rest. Get uh, proper support. I think that's uh, about as far down as I'm going to go. I could probably go about another eighth to a quarter, but uh, be really pushing it. So we'll leave it at that and start sanding. And yes, you can power sand the inside of a natural edge bowl. I'll show you how. After reversing the bowl, I turn away the tenon. So from here, I'll just chisel it off. I'm going to have to sand down the bottom after it dries anyway because it's going to warp. So. The following day, I sanded the base flat. And here's the finished piece. I finished the bowl with my finish of choice, Danish oil finish. Then I buffed it with Tripoli and Canuba wax. So if you enjoyed watching me turn this bowl, please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time. Thanks again for watching.